Hey, it's Drew Terry and I'm out of the doghouse dog training and today I want to show you how to replace the collar strap that comes on the remote training collar. It is a belt-like buckle strap. Um, it's okay. It's all right. You'd have to cut it. It's got all these holes so that you could fit it. But the problem is it's not easy to fit properly all the time because sometimes we don't pull it tight enough or sometimes we pull it too tight. Or if you have a, a long coated dog like a golden retriever or a German Shepherd or a Husky, it makes it kind of impossible to pull that through because all the hair is going to come up over the buckles. So I want to show you today how to replace this with a store purchased strap and how to get it on the receiver. So it can look like this cute little one. So it's a quick release, it's really easy to use. We just kind of clip it on and go and we're ready. Um, looks snazzy and it's something that you can do at home. You don't need a fancy sewing machine. All you need is a needle and thread or beg somebody who can sew to do this for you. But it's really not that hard. That's what I'm gonna show you today. So uh, again, some of the tools that you're gonna need is first and foremost, um, a collar strap that's about you know, three quarters, maybe a half inch wide, and then long enough to go around your dog's neck. We're gonna talk about how to measure that, but you need um, a collar strap and then needle and thread, some, you know, scissors so that you can cut. We're gonna cut a section off. Um, what we're gonna do is remove part of this so that we can feed it through the carriers on the receiver. Other things that are helpful are some um, masking tape, a tape measure that's a sewing one to go around the neck or if you don't have that we can use our dog's flat collar by measuring snug and then measuring against either um, a pull-out tape measure or a, a ruler or a tape uh, excuse me a, a yardstick so we have our yardstick here but we need a way to measure it so that we have a proper fit so let's start with first we're going to remove this plastic strip and the reason why it's heavy it's bulky it, it holds in heat and again it's cumbersome so we're gonna take this out I'm gonna pull this and I want you to make notice um, that there's a suicide that has dog trip well this is a doctor brand it has a bottom and then there's a light with the magnetic on and off so we want that light to be facing up when we put it on our dog so we'll, again we'll talk about what that looks like when we get there but we're first gonna remove this strap and let's just do this. I have a tape measure, sewing tape measure, so I'm gonna go around my, my dog's neck and I want a snug fit. And you're gonna think that's kind of a weird idea, but I'll tell you why in just a second. So his neck size is a 12, all right? And then um, what I wanna do is I know that this collar, it can be um, adjusted from a neck size from a 14 inch to a 20 inch. And the reason why I want it bigger is we need to go around this receiver and then we also want an adjustment. So if you see here, we've got this, what I call the, the fork end and it's got the adjustment slide. So here's some extra space where we can adjust this to make this tighter. So that's, I like having that extra amount. So make sure your collar is long enough. So measure your dog's neck, a snug fit. So the first one is snug fit and this dog is a 12. So then it's like, well, what do I do? How do I know what size to make? Well, I add to the 12, seven inches. So four to go around the receiver. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna go around. And then that extra amount so that we can adjust it to a proper fit that's comfortable, not too loose, not too tight. So, you know, kind of like Goldilocks, right? So that would make it 12 and seven. So we're looking at 19 inches. So I know my collar's long enough because I bought a 20 inch collar. So I'm gonna take this apart. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. This one's just kind of cute. And then remember the end that we're not gonna cut off is the side with the little fork on it. So I'm looking at this other end, I'll call it the receptacle. And then it has the, um, the D-ring on to attach the leash. So let me get my parts and pieces out of the way second and you too it's gonna to take a moment all right so I see that there's a d-ring here and I want to be able to feed the body of the strap through my remote collar so let's get this again I'm just gonna get it all out of the way I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it close as I can to where the stitching is 
and voila, I cut that off. Now the other thing I have to cut off is the receptacle because I'm gonna sew that back on after I feed the strap through the receiver. So that's removed, I don't know, save the D-ring. Who knows what you might use it for, you know, with crafts or whatever. So set that aside. And then what we're going to do is, sometimes it's difficult to get through depending on the width of your collar strap, if you get a cute little ribbon on or whichever, it's sometimes tricky to slide it through. So I wanted to show you this little tip. We're gonna take some of this masking tape and make what I call a threader. So we're gonna take it, make it long enough, a good four inches. Doesn't matter really, you're just gonna stick it on one side and then stick the other end to fold it in half. Okay, so it kind of looks like a loop. Just go ahead and flatten it. Again, it doesn't have to be pretty because all we're doing is we're gonna thread it through the, the carriers. And I like to um, make it kind of pointy and skinny so it can fit through. And then remember, if the light goes up, I'm right-handed, I like to clip it this, um, I like to clip the fork into the receptacle so I come around the top of the neck. So I'm gonna go from left to right and I'm gonna feed this in. See, I'm gonna feed that right here and I'm able to pull Give it a little wiggle so it gets through. Go through all the carriers, thread it right through, and then keep the tape on for just a minute. Okay, so you can see we're set up, almost done, kind of. <laughs> Let's make it pretty. And honestly, um, this part's not my favorite, this little carrier in here. You can cut that off if you want. It's really not that necessary, but it's fine that it's there. Just to say, why is it there, Drew? I don't know, to make it neat. So here we are. We got our collar strap through the receiver and then you take the receptacle part and then keep that tape on and you can go through here too. So sometimes the end of the cut part gets frayed and fuzzy and thick and hard to get through. So make sure you're through all your parts and pieces. Also, if there's a little bit of a curve, um, pay attention to that. You don't want to put it on so it's inside or upside down. So I know we got a good fit. We're coming around. I also know that I got plenty of room because I have this extra space. I mean, this one's really long for this little dog, but it's fine. I could have bought a smaller collar, but I didn't. Um, but it won't hurt to have that extra adjustment room. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to take the tape off. And it's a little tricky sometimes because it sticks. And if it grabs some of that thread, be ready, just cut that off. And then here, what we're going to do is get ready to sew this to itself. But before I sew it, again, it's fuzzy and I, it could fray and fringe and all that. I'm gonna take my candlestick lighter and I'm gonna singe so that the end is sealed. But again, I'm not doing this until this final step before I stitch it. So let's see if I can uh, get this lit because it's childproof, right? All right, so we just kind of melt those ends. Good enough, nothing too drastic. And then with your needle, I have enough here, just I'm gonna whip stitch it. So again, you don't have to have fancy skills and if you don't know how to thread a needle or tie a knot, go to Google to help you. All right, so here I'm just gonna fold this over so that it's on itself. I'm gonna take three stitches and do a whip stitch around the side, the middle, and then the other side. So I'm gonna poke my needle through, and stitch it three times. And honestly, I'm just gonna do this in real time so that you can see it does take a moment. One. And I'm gonna be quiet and pay attention. Okay, so there's three. You can do more stitches if you want, but it's really not all that necessary because um, it should hold. So then you kind of dig your needle in, go to the middle and do three more stitches here. Just kind of whip it around. One, two, there's a third stitch. And then you're gonna head that needle to the outside edge. I kind of tuck it in behind and then whip it on the outside. All right, one, two, Three. And then I gotta knot it, so I'm gonna take one more stitch, and there's a big loop, and all you do is you take your needle and dive back in through the loop and pull it tight. So let's see what we got here. It's a little twisted. All right, give it a little pull. Let's kind of straighten it up as we go down. Okay, and voila. I'm gonna actually take one more stitch because that's what I do for sewing, two, two knots. All right, and then I can pull it snug. 
give it a cut, and look at there. I mean, how long did this take, you know? Um, under 10 minutes to have a new collar strap. You can get the combination that you like. You can coordinate it with your other dog's collar. And then, here we go. Remember, um, to get it a proper fit, make sure it's snug enough, but not too tight. And then you're ready to go, because we have a quick release. So we clip, if <laughs> well, my fingers work. Off we go, clip it on. You don't have to monkey around with the belt buckle anymore or what size it is, if it's too loose or too big. Here you've got your collar on your, your receiver and then um, you'll have a nice cute collar for your dog, quick and easy to use. So try it out, purchase a collar. Here's just the steps again. Purchase your collar long enough to go around your dog's neck. So snug fit and then add seven inches, um, whatever that might be. And then you'll have enough to go around your receiver and then be enough for adjusting. So snug fit, seven inches, um, cut it, thread it with masking tape, thread it all the way through, remove the tape, cinch it with a candlestick lighter, and then whip stitch it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, tie it knot, and you're done. Look at that, easy peasy. All right, have fun, be creative, and that way when your collar gets grimy, you can always change it yourself. Um, if for whatever reason it doesn't hold up, you can change it yourself and you can have whatever choice you'd like. So have fun and enjoy. Thanks for watching. It's Drew Terrian, Out of the Dog House Dog Training.